Longitude is the other coordinate that, with latitude, defines a specific position on the surface of the Earth. Like latitude, longitude is an angular measurement, measured at the centre of the Earth. However, unlike latitude, the equator cannot be used as the datum to measure the angle. What is needed is another datum that is at 90 degrees to the equator. Lines that run from pole to pole and cross the equator at 90 degrees are called meridians. There are many meridians on the Earth, but we need to identify one of them as a reference. The particular meridian used as a reference is called the prime meridian. It is this meridian that longitude is measured from. The prime meridian runs from pole to pole and bisects a place in London called Greenwich. The prime meridian is often referred to as the Greenwich meridian for this reason. Longitude of any point is the shorter angular distance of the arc along the equator between the prime meridian and the meridian through that point. The angle is measured in terms of whether it is east or west of the prime meridian. In this example on the screen, the longitude is west of the prime meridian. If the angle at the centre of the Earth between these two meridians was, for example, 40 degrees, then the longitude would be west 04000. This means that the longitude is 40 degrees 0 minutes west of the prime meridian. All longitudes are five figures. The first three are degrees and the last two are minutes. Longitude can be a maximum of either west 18000 or east 18000. This meridian is on the opposite side of the Earth to the prime meridian. A meridian that is 180 degrees from another meridian is called an anti-meridian. In the case of the Greenwich meridian, the east or west 18000 meridian is the anti-meridian of the Greenwich meridian. When giving a position, the latitude is always quoted first and the longitude second. For example, Oxford Airport is at North 5150 and West 00119. This indicates that the position is 51 degrees and 50 minutes north of the equator and 1 degree 19 minutes west of the prime meridian. Some confusion can arise when calculating longitudes near to the anti-meridian of Greenwich. When looking at the Earth from the Greenwich meridian, the sense of east and west is readily apparent. However, viewing the Earth from the anti-meridian of Greenwich, the west and east longitude appears to reverse, although really it doesn't. It needs to be remembered that longitudes are measured from Greenwich. We have seen how latitude and longitude are used to precisely state position. The network formed by the latitude and longitude grid is referred to as a graticule. The conventions of four-figure latitudes and five-figure longitudes avoid confusion and ambiguity. Some modern navigation systems use latitude and longitude with decimal places of minutes. For example, north 4043.5, west 07012.3. Because, by definition, latitude is measured at the centre of the Earth, there is ambiguity as to what the angle could be, as the Earth is not perfectly spherical. In actual fact, when measuring latitude, as we have seen, it is referred to as geocentric latitude. However, from a position on the surface of the Earth, the Earth's centre is not always directly below the perpendicular, due to the oblate spheroid shape of the Earth. 
From this perpendicular line, it can be seen that the measured angle has increased from the original angle at the centre of the Earth. Latitude measured in this manner is called geodetic latitude and is the standard method used when producing most aviation charts. The actual difference in geocentric and geodetic latitude is very small, the maximum value being just 11.6 minutes. This occurs at approximately 45 degrees of north and south latitude. In summary, longitude of any point is the shorter angular distance of the arc along the equator between the prime meridian and the meridian through that point. It is measured in relation to the angular distance west or east of the prime meridian. The position reference system of latitude and longitude provides a very accurate system to locate positions on the surface of the Earth.